Now that we have the dual boot menu, we can boot either into the Windows or the branch which will take us to the Google Chrome OS. And with the Google Chrome OS, we have access to the Google Play Store which has millions of Android applications and games. And it's one of the many reasons why people choose to dual boot with Chrome OS. And in this video, I will show you how you can do that without facing any errors or issues. So let's get started. So first you need to visit this website. And there is a list of requirements. So I will uh, urge you to read it or you can pause and read right now. We will also discuss some about some of the points later as well. So first let us start with the uh, disabling the hibernation. So we can simply copy this command and uh, we need to run it in the terminal. So right click on the start menu and open the terminal as admin. And here simply paste the command and hit enter. And now your uh, hibernation has been disabled. Now we have to disable the fast startup. You can do that from the BIOS or just right click and open run. Then type this uh, command. And just copy this address. Uh, it's a long address so just simply copy it. And then on the menu paste it in the address bar on top. So just select all and paste it. Now hit enter. Now this will load up and here you need to find something called hyper boot enabled which you can see here. And you need to change the value from 1 to 0. This will disable it and then just save the configuration. So remember to change the value from 1 to 0 now the we have to disable the secure boot from the bios so if you have any of this system turn off your computer and press the boot uh, the bios key and the power button i need to select and disable if you can find the secure boot so now we will start to install the ubuntu so this is also supports of windows 10 or 11 or 1900 update or later so make sure you are on the latest windows 10 or 11 so we need to copy this command WSL and then paste it in the terminal and once you hit enter it will start downloading and it will enable the that's a, that is why we need the virtualization also to use Ubuntu we need the virtualization as well so I've already have installed on my computer but it will ask you to reboot your device and a couple of more steps then you can find the Ubuntu in your start menu and it will sim it will be similar to the uh, from the terminal that we use in the linux os so after we have installed it and open it up now we need to install these uh, several uh, uh, these uh, dependencies so we will just uh, copy and paste it and then run it in the terminal i will ask you for the password not gonna take long so once it's done we are we need to proceed to create the partition so right click and open the disk management and here we will shrink our D drive which is the largest drive so just click on shrink and here you can type in any uh, any of the particular size you want I'm gonna go with 50,000 which is 50 GB and depending upon the size is gonna take that much longer in uh, installing with the Chrome OS so next time I'm just gonna create a new volume and this is the edge drive you need to take notice of that and I'm gonna name it at Chrome OS to make it easily identifiable now simply just next and finish and now we have a 48 GB Chrome OS drive ready so now let's move on to the next process which is to download some files so first we need to download the branch file which is by the developer Sebank and uh, you need to notice the version of the file it is right now 111 so this is 111 stable version of the branch file so just click and download next according to the version we will download the recovery file so for my Ryzen it's Zork 
make sure you download the correct uh, file for your processor it's different you can see here it's different for different uh, processors so for me it's the ryzen and it's zork so i'm gonna download that and here from the recovery images drop down i'm gonna download the 111 which is also the latest version and also the same version of the branch file it makes it easier and more compatible that way now we also need the grub to win file which will help us to create the dual boot menu so go ahead and download the latest version from this link and this is only for the mbr users if you are on the mbr system you need to download this mbr patch file from this google drive link and once you do we'll also discuss about the process later so now you have all the files downloaded i've created a chrome os folder in the downloads and the first thing we're going to do is extract the branch file that we downloaded you can also die in, uh, like uh, extracted using linux but um, this we have to just extract it twice to get the file because it is a tar dot gz so just just extract it twice and once you have done that you can delete the leftover files and we will have the uh, one uh, you can see all the files outside in the root of the folder now we will similarly extract the chrome os recovery file as well and this is going to take longer because uh, it's a large file and you will see we have a chrome os recovery so you can get rid of the all the files that we do not need that like these two and uh, similarly we can also uh, extract the grub to win file but we will use this later So we have the grub to win setup file here now this is now this next step is only for uh, people with the mbr system so that like we have extracted other files we will also extract the mbr support file you can use 7c for evendra to do this once you have extracted it we will extract it once again like the branch file But this time it's asking us to replace some files which i'm not going to do but if you are on a your system just say yes to all and then proceed with the, all the other steps so just try it once it may or may not work but hopefully it should work now once we have downloaded all the files we need to mount that folder we have all the files downloaded in so that we can install the chromos file so this is the step that i use so what you need to do is first change the name of the folder and make sure there are no spaces so it's uh, much easier for you now copy the address of the folder the exact folder and open the ubuntu terminal and this is not a run command that is going to work just paste the command uh, the address of your and just press enter so this way it is on the terminal and it's easier for you to locate now we need to make that uh, address in this uh, format so just follow what i'm doing is type in cd then mnt and just remember the forward slashes not backward slashes and c and without colon make sure it is there is c colon but we're not going to use that just normal c users and the same format we're just going to copy it but in the forward slash and without the colon and you can see the chromos folder is now has been mounted successfully without which many of you get uh, stuck in this step so make sure you follow it now we need to first uh, run this command so just paste this command first uh, we need to replace some of the terms so first is going to for the recovery image so go um, take the cursor there then delete it now we'll come back to our folder and uh, we need to copy the name of the uh, the chrome os recovery we need to copy it with the dot bin so make sure on the view your extension file name extensions is enabled and we need to copy the whole name and paste it here you can see dot bin 
now similarly we need to mount the partition folder that we have created for chrome os so this chrome os file will be installed in that partition that we created so here you can see it is the h drive the chrome os and it is h drive so just remember that and we also create a folder inside this so um, it gets much uh, easier so create a folder named branch so it has a place to install the the chrome os image file so just type mnt h and then the folder name and after that just add this chrome os.img this is the name of the image file that the uh, this installation is going to create and so make sure you type that and in the size we need to uh, like type in the size of the partition that we created for me it's 48 so i'm typing 45 you, you can keep it one or two gb less so it's not uh, it doesn't create any issues later i just uh, press enter and type in your password now you can see it has started creating the partition table and everything and this will take a long time it can take up to half an hour so just wait for it to finish and now we are finished and it's asking us to either we need to install it on a usb drive or dual boot and of course we need to dual boot so just type dual boot like i am without spaces and hit enter and once you hit enter it's going to save the grub 2 win uh, a txt file in the same partition that we have chrome os installed in and you can see here um, it says to disable the fast data hibernation before proceeding which i've already done that and now you can see it is full the chrome os drive because it has installed or just created this img file here which is about the same size as your partition and now you can see here we have the grub 2 win text and this is the text we need to use for the dual boot to create the dual boot menu so we need to copy this and we will take a use of it later as well so just keep it open now go to your file and open the grub to win the setup file which we were supposed to use and it's going to give you this error but run it anyway and click ok to install and the installation process can take longer because it's going to download then uh, see if your uh, secure boot is disabled stuff like that so right now it's scanning you can, say, you can see it says secure boot is not enabled which is what you should say otherwise it will flag it to yellow or red so now it's done we need to go to the actual setup part of the group to win you can see it. now we have opened it up and i have actually set it up and get it ready because i was facing some error like you were you can see it says chromo is not supported and this message was not here before but it is with the latest uh, latest update so what we need to do is go to this manage boot menu i'm gonna remove i'm gonna remove this user section which i've created and i'm gonna show it how i have done it so first go to the uh, the chrome os partition and open the, the grub to win text and copy it all select all and copy now here type on uh, click on add a new entry name the title as it is and click from top drop down choose create user section here just quickly paste and save it because if you, if you do not save it it will flag it like uh, it says it will uh, you can see it says it's error it's uh, empty so make sure after you paste the the code you save it uh, like fast before it flags that error so you can see right now it shows it's saved but it will not appear in the boot menu so remove it and redo the step user section and paste the command and just quickly save it and now wait for it and it will automatically say that it has uh, yes you can see it has uh, taken the code and just ignore all the warnings and you can see 
just uh, click on apply and you have we have the code here and even if you do not see the menu in the dual boot section just redo the steps and it should appear and uh, it's all done you can change the graphics mode so this is how the uh, it will look like when you restart your computer then just close it and it will be done so that was how the step now you can simply restart your computer and once you do you will see this dual boot menu and just scroll down and click on the branch and they will start the uh, process of being uh, of building the kernel and all and uh, it will take a long time uh, according to your size and you will soon see the chrome os logo and you can continue with the setup process and you start enjoying the chrome os so that was a step to install chrome os in dual boot um, if you are still facing any issues you can contact me on instagram or in the comment section below and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one